So a year on from publication of France's report, I mean, I, th I think it's actually had a seismic impact right across the NHS. I think um, when we were uh, awaiting the report and on publication day, even then we weren't quite sure how far this, the NHS as a whole would look at the report and say, is this something we can all learn from? I think there was a worry initially that perhaps people would think, you know, Stafford was, you know, an extreme aberration that couldn't possibly happen here. Actually, I think what we've seen at, at all levels of the system is, is a really open and honest reflection about what is it that we need to learn to genuinely put patients first and to support safer and more compassionate care. And actually, in going out and visiting trusts, I've been really heartened at the work that's gone on right down at, at, at ward level and up to the very top of organisations to say, well, what's true for us in this report? What can we learn from it? What do we need to improve and change? So a year of, you know, a lot of policy action, um, a lot of changes to the system, um, but actually a real kind of soul searching as well that I think has really changed the nature of the conversation. And I think at the heart of it all, the core priority really has to be around how are we listening to both our patients and staff and how are we empowering to make the change. So I don't think it's a, a list of tick box must do's. I think it's about that genuine engagement, that genuine listening. So if we take a few examples of, of things that would, would fall in that, I think it's about how are we not treating complaints as a kind of bureaucratic long-winded process but actually as firstly how can we prevent complaints in the first place by listening to concerns and dealing with them on the ward um, how can we actually take that one step further and, and you know be really responding in a human way to be apologizing to be really listening and learning and making changes to make care safer so for me that's one really important priority about how we listen to what patients are telling us on staff actually people go into the NHS committed and wanting to make a difference in the vast vast majority of cases and I think the real challenge for hospitals is how do we translate the learning to every single ward such that um, staff on that ward or in that service, because it's not just about acute hospitals, um, in that service can make the changes that they see will be in the patient interest to deliver safer and better quality care. I mean, we've asked uh, Trust to report back to us on what they're doing. Um, obviously, people are taking the the report and doing it in their own way. We haven't prescribed a, this is how you must approach it and this is the format we want your answers back in. And actually what's been really enlightening for us is going out and about and having conversations because you, you know you can read reports and board minutes and, and today's re very helpful re research from the Nuffield about what people are doing. But it's been hugely helpful for us as a team to stay grounded by going out and talking to, to ward sisters, to HCAs, to porters, to all sorts of people um, within different trusts about the difference it's making for them. Where we are now, I mean, I think it's a, a really significant first step on a journey, but it's not an easy journey and it's probably not a short one. So I think 2013 was a year of everybody really scrutinising, deciding what they need to do, in many cases making a very encouraging start on that. And I think in particular in terms of the new expert inspections from CQC, we've seen a very, very big big shift in, in what's, what's going on. I think 2014 has to be about really taking action. So, you know, let's move this forward. Let's bring it all together. Let's learn from those places that have already made a very real and significant response to Francis and support those trusts that, that might need to do a bit more.